we're interested in awareness. Those who were interested in being efficient, you don't even know their names. And those who were interested in awareness, 2,000 years after, 3,000 years after, they're still living today. But they weren't efficient. And they worked on themselves, they expanded their awareness, their vibration began to raise to a higher frequency, and as their awareness expanded, they never compromised. They didn't compromise their awareness for being efficient, for being successful. The successful that we look at in 21st century in our society, that everything is about efficiency, is about being mechanical. is about production but at what cost what is the cost of this efficiency and producing the cost of it is a sleepy planet the cost of it is being a robot robotic the cost of it is that for you never question things not questioning things. You don't question your authorities. You don't question your teachers. You don't question life. You're not interested to know why you're here, why you were born. You're thinking about being efficient. You're thinking about a pattern that they implemented in your mind. You grow up, you go to school, you go to college, you're thinking about making more money, you get married, you drop a couple kids, and you keep working and becoming more powerful and more efficient and more mechanical. Oh, everybody's doing that. Everybody's getting married and having kids. Well, why? Why are you getting married and having kids? What's the point in that? Oh, because you make a family and da 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 da. You never question that. Have you ever questioned that? Why you should get married and have children? Has it ever been a question for you? Oh, because we need to reproduce. Well, that's the answer they give you. Why you go to church or why you da 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 or why you have to go to school? Why you have to go to the army? Why you have to follow anybody or any leaders or whatever? Why do you have to cut your hair short? Or why you have... You ever question these things? Why do you have to follow your parents' footsteps? Why do you have to follow your idols like Actors, actresses, singers, athletes. Why do you have to wear the same clothes they wear or haircut or whatever they do? 
why do you have to become vegetarian or vegan or meat eater or follow the new trend? Do you ever question that? Or you just do it? You work on your awareness and you make your awareness sharper. You work on increasing your awareness. And next time you go to the marketplace, you go into the system, the work system, maybe you're not as successful as your cousin. So what? Maybe you're not as efficient as your sister. So what? You're still getting the job done. You're making a living. You're doing your life. But you have awareness. You're aware. You have an awareness of what you're doing. You know why you're here. You know what you want in this life. Not because of what they implemented in your mind. Oh, my dad wanted me to be a lawyer. My dad wanted me to be a doctor. My dad wanted me to get married. My dad wanted me da 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 da. Or my whatever. Whatever is that story. What do you want? Why do you have to follow this model? Oh, everybody gets married or everybody gets to have some kids. Why? Maybe everybody likes to go jump off the bridge. Why do I have to do the same thing everybody else does? Oh, why don't you have any kids? Or why don't you want to be married? Well, why should I? My suggestion to you, my brothers, sisters, is risk everything in your life for awareness. But never, ever risk awareness for anything. Never compromise your awareness for being efficient, being mechanical, being a robot, so you can produce more. Your awareness is the seed of godliness in you. It's through the expansion of your awareness that you reach enlightenment, full awakening, and freedom. Not through being efficient or keep producing. That's not going to get you home. 